Welcome to the MSRA Back to the 50s here at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds for our 40th annual car show with over 12,000 custom cars, 1964 and older. Enjoy the next video and I'd hope to see you here. Welcome to U.S. Classic Muscle Cars. Thanks for being here. Please enjoy the show. Man, I love all these old cars. So pretty, right? I know. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dale Solstrom, and uh, we're at Back to the 50s this weekend in St. Paul. And uh, this is an event that I've been involved with for, oh, 30 to 40 years, I suppose, somewhere in that vicinity. And uh, I've got my family here with me, and uh, we've, we've been together as a family for this, at this event for, for many years. Uh, this is my daughter, my granddaughter Alexa, my son-in-law Mark, and uh, to us, uh, back to the 50s is all about family, it's all about fun, it's all about cars. And uh, we came down from uh, Duluth, Minnesota, where I come, it's probably about 175 miles, and, and we came in this 64 Chevy Suburban. I've owned this car for, well actually I owned it twice. I bought it in 1994, and it was uh, not anywhere near the condition you see here. I sold it uh, probably in about 96 and bought it back again in oh, maybe 2007-2008. Oh, um, it's got a 350 Chevy engine, a 700 R4 transmission. We've probably driven this uh, vehicle, oh, I suppose 60,000 miles or better in the last uh, 15 years. You don't see these. No, you don't see them. They probably made about 7,000 of these in 1964. So they're, they're semi-rare. Sure, sure. And, the, and this hood is like an entire zip code. <laughs> you know? Yeah, a little bit. Jeez, it's a little big. It's a big rig, and, and the beauty of this is you can stuff all your gear in here. Right, right. And uh, uh, we've traveled with this uh, as far as Idaho camping we pull a little pop-up camper and and this is this this is a fun car it's, it's a ball if you want it's dirty because it dri gets driven oh hey y'all oh, look at the air cleaners crooked there we go uh, so what are we looking at here this is a 350 small block Chevy uh, it's got electronic ignition, um, you know, they came originally with uh, with a small block Chevy, so the engine fits right in, uh, transmission needed just a little bit of uh, uh, fitting to get in, but... but uh, uh, tell the viewers what we're looking at here. Okay, that would be a box that's uh, holding the heater core, okay. and so... Um, that I had to get a new one a couple years ago, right, but there, the and then the motor, fan the fan motor's at the bottom of that right. blowing up through there. Um, it's got power brakes. That's a that's a stock power brake setup for a for a suburban, sure, which sure. is is kind of rare. So is this going to be her car in like a couple of decades? <laughs> well, maybe less than a couple of decades. I don't know. It depends if she wants right, it. Right, 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 right. right. I've I've gotten word from my wife that this is not for sale. So and she drives this plenty too. So my wife, yeah, she she'll pop in and drive that. Oh, if you want. It's uh, this is this is uh, all utilitarian in here. It's all utilitarian. So you look, you, you can shoot the. The dash uh, cover that uh, says "Love this truck, John Schneider." So, okay, okay. John Schneider is Bo Duke from right, uh, right, Dukes right, of right. Hazard. So I, 
I chauffeured him around one day in this thing, and and so he signed it for me. And so he had a ball with that. So another car that I've got here today would be uh, a 55 Pontiac station wagon. Uh, this car, uh, I haven't seen another four-door station wagon here, uh, 55 Pontiac this weekend. They made uh, 19,700 some uh, in 55, so that would mean uh, maybe there's a couple hundred of them left, but it, it's relatively rare. Uh, this one, I, I picked this up about three years ago, and uh, it's uh, a Montana car, so it's rust-free. Uh, you're checking out the hood ornament. Uh, those are pretty cool. This one lights up. When you turn the headlights it, on, really? this this one lights really? up. Really? And look at all this detail. I mean, oh, yeah. we have a, a, a bumper and a hand. Yep. Thrown here, you know? Yep. And then... Uh, and these up here. Yep, there's some kind of a, a fake cooling fin thing or something. Just right, right. some type of a, a detail thing. Right. Wow. That's wow. But, the car drive? Oh this one this one it drives like a dream. It's smooth, it's got a nice yeah. long wheelbase. Yeah, sure. And so it drives uh, very smoothly, power steering, power brakes, it's got disc brakes. Uh, Does it fit in the garage? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's 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 a little bigger. It's maybe eight inches or so bigger than a Chevy, uh, you know, longer. Uh, but um, it's. Do you have any plans to do anything with it? Uh, I'll I'll keep it going, putts with it, and and as I go, in 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 a perfect world with plenty of money, I'd, there's a bunch I could do to it, but. Uh, can we uh, see what's under the hood? You can. Again, it's a driver. Right, right. It's a driver. It's a... Right. Under here, it's a, a 350 Pontiac. Uh, there's been a... Uh, about a 75 uh, front subframe that's been grafted onto the front chassis of this. And then sure. all the mounts and everything for the engine are there and everything. So it updates it with with uh, disc brakes and so forth and that's where you get the power steering from so the interior is is pretty much stock um, all the gauges work and so forth uh, the interior has uh, been reupholstered with that red and white theme and uh, in tuck and roll and uh, it's it, it's comfortable uh, you know we're able to put car seats in for the grandkids and and come along and and uh, uh, it's it's a comfortable driving car right looks nice looks nice and then the uh, in the, uh, the red and white is good contrast and then you have the uh, is that chrome or stainless that's stainless okay right nice. yeah and all the stainless is uh, it's about perfect right, so right. for something that's what 67 years old that's uh, not too bad. Sure. It, it's in pretty decent yeah, shape. Let's have a barn to keep your cars in. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> well, this one is a 54 Pontiac station wagon. This one is my son's. And uh, he's had this for, oh, I don't know how long, but they found it in a, in a field in North Dakota. And he... Uh, Updated it with a with a late model V8, and uh, he's had, he's driven this over a hundred thousand miles. He's been to the P Pacific Ocean, he's been to the Atlantic Ocean with it. Um, he's got oh, I don't know how many states he's been through, but uh, many many miles, and uh, it's it's been pretty much trouble free for him, and. Uh, this is, this is kind of like good satire. The rust is almost acting as a primer. Uh, it's all patina, and, right, and right, patina right, is right. patina is kind of a hot thing right now. Right, right, right. I didn't know how to phrase it. Yeah, patina is is pretty much where it's at. Sure, and sure. you know, as as an interesting story, um, in 2016, 
our family took uh, Mark, uh, Laura, my daughter, and uh, Alexa who was on, Thor and his gal, my wife. This in the Suburban we took out west. And every time we stopped, nobody cared at all about the Suburban. They all glommed around this for the paint and people are posing for pictures and it was actually, it, it was it was pretty interesting. And uh, one guy even thought that this patina was actually painted on. And uh, I said, no, no. Where it's at, I mean, it almost looks too perfect. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. It's pretty interesting. There's the states he's been to. Yep. Yeah, you can go through. He's he's got all the states that he's been in are all uh, chronicled on the window, just like in the old days. Back to the 50s, we'll have probably 11,000 cars here this weekend. Uh, it's a great time. This is just a small part of what's here. There's a, a lot of people, a lot of cars, a lot of fun. And uh, if you want to catch some more of what's going on, uh, msra.com is a good place to, to check out and, uh, and, and see what we're all about. Thanks for watching.